So what is going on everybody, Fernando Silva here with another video and today we're going to be talking about and comparing my two favorite task management slash collaboration tools that I use on the iPad Pro. I use Microsoft Teams for you know my 9 to 5 work and then I use Taskgate for anything YouTube, to do, and collaboration related. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So before we actually dive into the different applications and talk about exactly what they do, I did want to bring up the one big deciding factor if you guys are looking to use one of these softwares, right? Uh, the biggest thing for most people is price. So if price is the only thing that matters to you, then the way that you get Microsoft Teams, yes, there's a free way to get it, and I've kind of explained that before, but it's very, very limited. So normally you would have to pay a minimum of $8 a month to be able to use Microsoft Teams. And then you have Taskade, which is 100% free. There is a paid version, but there isn't much that you get from it, and you get about 99.9% .9 of all the features with just a free version for Taskade, and you can use it for personal use, for a one-person organization, or even a larger corporation with 50, 100, 500 people, because there's no real limit to how many people can use Taskade or how large the organization can be. So, with that being said, Taskade is free, Microsoft you usually have to pay for, that is the price breakdown. But now I wanna get into the, the nitty-gritty of these applications. So I'm gonna break this down into four different categories, just to make it a little bit easier to digest, right? And they're all gonna start with C. So I wanted to keep it kind of consistent for everybody. So the four categories are customization, coordination, collaboration, and that final one is that cross-platform integration so you can use it pretty much everywhere. So let's get started with the customization. So the customization feature is actually one of my favorite things about Taskade. You can pretty much make Taskade feel and look exactly how you want. One of the nicest things about Taskade is that it works off of these templates, right? So you can pretty much create your own personal template that you can reuse depending on what project you're on. For instance, if you're at a, at a company that does pretty much one thing specifically, but you do with different teams, you can basically just create one template of a bunch of things that need to get done for that project, but then divvy it up to different teams. And only those people in those different teams have access to that collaboration part or that task aid group. And only those teams have access to you know that template that you created. And again, then you can specify exactly what project they're for, but the template itself is there for you to use whenever you need to, which is something amazing to see so you don't have to kind of start every single project from scratch. And then not only that, but there's a nice little Taskade marketplace where people, you know, like myself, like anybody else, creates templates and then they upload it to Taskade's website for anybody to download them. And most of the time they are free. So you can download templates that are made for personal use, for grocery shopping, for running an organization, for doing projects, whatever the case may be, there's pretty much a template out there that you can go download and then start using and reusing for your organization or for yourself if this is how you're gonna use Taskade. And once you've been working on something for a while, there's different ways to view that project, right? So you have the classic list look, which is what I use most often, just because it's the one that I'm so used to using, not only on Taskade, but just like throughout life, just to-do list, scratching off, move to the bottom. But then there's also a couple other ones which are really, really cool. So you have this one that I really like called Mind Mapping, which really kind of gives you a really nice visual picture of what needs to get done for that certain project. So it kind of just breaks everything down into a web of like the main project that needs to get done and then all the different subcategories underneath it. And not only do you have the mind map, but then you have the board view, which again gives you a nice another visual. And then you have the organizational chart view, which gives you kind of the vertical uh, view of the to-do list. Again, but I like using the regular kind of to-do list format. But then again, the mind map one is actually very cool. And I see a lot of good use cases, especially if you're on a larger screen presenting to a bunch of people or you're in a, you're in a room presenting to a bunch of people all the different aspects that they need to do. And one of the big reasons why I prefer Taskade, you know, for this kind of collaboration section and customization is because with Microsoft Teams, there isn't really much to customize first off, right? You can maybe change the colors to match your organization and things like that, but there's, you're kind of doing whatever Microsoft wants you to do or however, however Microsoft intended you to use Teams which is all fine and dandy and it works for people, but the customization on Taskade is a lot is a lot bigger, it's a lot more expansive, and you can kind of use Taskade as you want to use it as opposed to how Taskade wants you to, to use their product, right? So that's what I like about Taskade, it's fully customized. And then also on Microsoft Teams, there's no real collaboration space, right? If you want to actively and in real time collaborate, unless you're kind of on a big Microsoft Teams call using a whiteboard with a bunch of different people on it, you can't really collaborate on the same space. So you kind of have to leave the Microsoft Teams app. You have to go to Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint or Excel to share a sheet and then collaborate in real time. With Taskade, you can collaborate in real time within the application, which is something that is very rare to see. So in terms of customization points, I give that all to Taskade because Microsoft Teams, again, unless you're building like an intranet, unless you're at a large corporation, unless you use SharePoint, and again, those are all different things they need to kind of tie into Microsoft Teams, which gets very complicated. You cannot really customize it. It's not consumer user friendly to customize versus Taskade really is. So now let's move into category number two. 
So this category is coordination. And what this is really gonna talk about is kind of the management of the projects that you're doing and being able to kind of divvy up uh, different responsibilities and jobs to certain people that are viewing that project. And this is a big aspect for Microsoft Teams, actually. This is one of their biggest selling points, and it's one of the reasons it's so popular. I mean, aside from the fact that it's a Microsoft product and Microsoft really pushes Microsoft Teams, this is a good reason why Microsoft Teams is very popular. And now, I kind of like the way Taskit is done a little bit better, because yes, in Microsoft Teams, you can send files, you can tag people in the chat, you can tell them what to do, but with Taskade, let's say you, you can have a giant project that you're working on with like 20 people, but each person or each two people have a certain project to do. So what you can do is create subcategories inside of that project and then start tagging people through their to-do list or through their mind map like, hey, you need to get this done by this date. Hey, the YouTube people, you gotta get all the digital content ready to go by this date. So you can kinda, you can tag people, you can use hashtags, and again, create subcategories so only the people that you want seeing that category can see and work off of that project. Even though it is part of a, a bigger umbrella of one single project. So if you wanna give them access to everything you can, but if you wanna also give them access to just the subcategories, then yes, you can do that as well. And I just think it makes it easier because yes, you can tag people, but then you can actively do stuff on Taskade. For instance, on Microsoft Teams, again, you usually have to leave the application. You know, on Microsoft Teams, you send links to a Word document or again, a PowerPoint document or something that needs to get manipulated, but you have to leave the Microsoft Teams application in order to get that done. Versus on Taskade, you can just collaborate in real time, right on the to-do list, right on the mind map, uh, right on that project screen and be good to go. So Taskade is great for anybody that manages the team, any project managers that are running projects that need to manage multiple teams. It's just a wonder to have. So if you guys are looking for something to manage people, especially remotely and be able to collaborate in real time, Taskade is awesome. And it's again, it's free. So now let's talk about category number three, which has to be collaboration within the application. So Microsoft Teams, again, think about the name of Microsoft Teams. It's made as a collaboration tool to work within certain teams to get stuff done. And then for Taskade, think of the name, right? It's supposed to help you finish your task, right? Aid, task, task, aid. So the collaboration section is actually pretty good on both ends, right? But there's a couple of things that I really like about Taskade, especially on the iPad, which a lot of people are gonna really like. But a, a few other caveats with Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams is actually pretty good when it comes to long and large rooms of people when it comes to video conferencing, right? It's pretty decent at that, but the one thing that's annoying, especially maybe on the Mac OS side, is that it destroys the RAM. And I know that a lot of people on the Windows side also have that issue. So if you have a Microsoft Teams call going, especially a video call going with multiple people, then pretty much the rest of your computer, unless you have a very high-end laptop or desktop, is gonna start to break down. It's not gonna allow you to do anything else on the side. And I've felt that firsthand, especially with my i5 MacBook Air from 2020. Now the M1 is a little bit better. It's actually a lot better, but still it takes up a lot of the RAM and it doesn't really need to. And then you have the collaboration features on Taskade. I use Taskade primarily through the web portal, right? I use it on the iPad Pro through Safari. So it really doesn't use a lot of you know, the RAM and intensive tasks that a dedicated application would use. Yes, I have also the Taskade application on my iPad Pro and the application on my iPhone. So the Taskade applications aren't really there for me to get a bunch of work done. It's more, more for like work on the fly. When I really wanna get a lot of work done, I go to Safari and go to the web portal for Taskade. And then one of the biggest things about Taskade is that you can, again, in real time collaborate, but then also video chat and start calls. So it's very, very simple. All you have to do is you go into your project, you go into whatever sub project you wanna go into, or the people that are working on that project that you wanna communicate with. And all you do is you go to the right, press start call. And then you can see that all of a sudden I'm on a video chat through the web portal in real time. And then anybody else can join that's in that project. And then also on the side, which is where the project is actually being talked about and planned, we can collaborate in real time, take our notes down together, no matter where we are in the world. Now with Microsoft Teams, I guess you can kind of do that also. You know, you have your video chat open and then your chat box. But then if you wanna save something, you gotta move it to OneNote. So again, it's like you're leaving the Microsoft Teams application to get the same work done. Because all these applications are supposed to do is be able to help you collaborate, coordinate, and get work done and plan work. And so far, Taskade is finally that all-in-one solution where you don't have to continue to leave the application to get stuff done. And then a big thing with Taskade that I actually noticed by accident, right? So with these applications, these video applications like Zoom and Microsoft Teams, if you're using an iPad Pro especially, if you wanna open up another application and multitasking to have that side-by-side -side view, then whatever video is going on with Zoom or Microsoft Teams, your video gets paused. And that's terrible, especially if you wanna do something else and like look something up while somebody is talking or you, you wanna take notes or whatever the case may be. It's, just, it's a terrible detriment and I don't know why it can't get fixed. But then with Taskade, because it's through the web portal, I'm able to have a video call in real time, fully collaborate and then have a second and third application without my app actually closing down or the app pausing me or anything like that. So this has been the first app that I've seen that I can video conference in real time 
and use something else on the iPad Pro. So if you're an iPad user in general, this is a great feature because no other application, or at least no other mainstream application has been able to get this done. And then finally, the final category has to be that cross-platform integration. So another reason why Taskit is awesome is because I keep mentioning that I have it on my iPhone with an application, I have it on my iPad with an application, I have it on my iPad through the web portal, and not only that, but it has Mac OS and Windows dedicated applications. So you can access this app from anywhere, whether it is directly saved onto the desktop or on a web portal. So if you're working on something on your computer at home and you need to go, let's say to the library and you're at school and you go into the computer lab, just pull up Taskade through the web portal, log in and everything that you're doing. So like I mentioned, the fact that Taskade has that cross-platform integration is huge. And yeah, Microsoft Teams has it as well to a certain extent. They do have their web portal, but again, the web portal is a little bit different than ta like the Taskade was built for the web portal versus the web portal of Microsoft Office. Yes, it's really good and it gives you a lot more, especially for the iPad Pro, but it's still kind of a desktop based application that was just thrown into the internet versus Taskade. It was built as a web based application first versus an application after the fact. So with that being said, Taskade is great when it comes to being able to just do everything remotely and everything on the go. So overall, those are my four main categories when it comes to these applications. Yes, I use both of them. I use Teams, like I said, for my nine to five, and then I use Taskade for all of my YouTube work, YouTube business, things like that. And at one point I do wanna maybe integrate all of it and move Taskade over to the nine to five because I'm a big proponent of what you get in terms of value for your money, right? And yes, Microsoft Teams, it costs money and you can continue to spend even more and more depending on how much applications or how many applications you need. So it gets expensive, right? Especially if you have a larger organization with 10, 20, 50 people, and that starts to add up very quickly. Versus Taskade, it's free, right? The only limitation that you have is the, the file size that you can physically send over. But then again, you can just start sending links. So if you have a Google Drive link or even a OneDrive link or an iCloud link, you just throw that in there and then people can view it and do whatever they need to on there. Again, it's a free application. I'm a big, big proponent of value for your money. And Taskade, it's, it's very hard to beat. Like I said, 99.9% .9 of the application is free to use for as many people as possible. Normally, it goes like, hey, if you have 10 or more people, you gotta start paying us. But here it's, the amount of people you have is the amount of people that you get, and it doesn't matter how many you have because it's still going to be free to sign them up. And again, you don't have to be tied into the Microsoft ecosystem to use it either. You know, you don't have to have a Microsoft account or a Microsoft email to get into Taskade. You can use Gmail, Yahoo, any platform, you know, a proprietary URL, a proprietary domain, whatever the case may be, you can use it for Taskade. So overall, Taskade gets my thumbs up, whether you're on an iPad Pro, Mac OS, Windows computer, and yeah, Microsoft Teams works well and I'm gonna to continue to use it because it's a great tool, especially for my nine to five, but Taskade, again, it's just something about Taskade that is very, very appealing from a cost standpoint and a function standpoint. So that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully that helps somebody make a decision or maybe shed some light on some other task management tools, some other collaboration tools that are out there because I use both of these and I like them both a lot for different reasons, but Taskade is just, again, for the value that you get, it's hard to be Taskade, you know, from a holistic standpoint because you get that collaboration, that coordination, cross-platform integration and all that customization that I mentioned earlier versus Teams, you get a lot of that too, but it's not to the same extent and it's not as user-friendly. So the learning curve on Taskit is actually a little bit smaller in my opinion than a first-time Microsoft Teams user. But again, that's gonna do for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know this is a little bit of a long one, but I really wanted to get this out there and show you guys the differences and something, again, another option if you need something to kind of start up your professional life or get organized in your personal life because that's what Taskade does and that's what it did for me. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. First link in the description if you guys wanna check out Taskade. Like I said, it's totally free, so it doesn't hurt to even create an account. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace.